an intro today? Uh, absolutely. Awesome. Well, thank you everyone for joining us for another Modern Agent Blueprint. And today we have a special guest uh, that's going to show us an amazing product. Um, I met Melissa, how many months ago? Like about four months, five months ago? I think it was October. Bus. I think it was like October-ish. Yeah, so we met at a follow-up bus and uh, we got to know each other and uh, she was very persistent with me. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm using her product for our, my team and uh, we're just getting a ton of results. It's been great. Yeah, same here. So we wanted to we wanted to bring this to you guys because one, I don't know how many people on this call are actually uh, partners are, are you know with EXP Realty, but EXP did just partner with Realty.com. So um, we are using them as well for our new team that we are starting, and we've seen amazing results as well. So we wanted to bring this to everybody. It's not just EXP exclusive; it is for everybody, but if it tells you anything to know that the fastest growing real estate brokerage in the world has partnered with them, this should say something. Leave you up more to say? I cut you off, sorry. No, that's okay, I'm used to it. I, I have a house full of women, so I'm used to being cut off. It happens quite frequently around here. It's funny because my wife got a flat tire this morning and I didn't even realize that I've been on Zoom calls all morning and then she just texted me and asked if it was taken care of yet. And I'm like, uh, <laughs> I didn't even know until five minutes ago that you even had a flat tire. But anyways, without any further ado, uh, Melissa Shapiro, how are you? Thanks. Great. Hi, guys. I'm so happy to uh, be with all of you this morning on your um, weekly mastermind and share with you something that I'm super passionate about. Um, so yeah, I met Lee and then Nicole through Lee, um, a few months ago and shared them, shared with them, um, realty.com. Um, but I really would love just to kind of start off and just give you a little bit of the history of realty.com and tell you a little bit about me. Um, and then kind of go into like the actual, the product, um, and the leads. Um, but I actually started my career in 2000 and, uh, five in real estate. And I started out in title. So I did joint ventures and affiliated business arrangements with mortgage companies and, um, real estate companies and created title agencies. And, um, before that had my real estate license. So I should start like that. I actually started with my real estate license back in 2003 and then went into title, did title for about 17 years. Um, and during the pandemic, I had an opportunity to kind of just consult in the title world. And then that consulting uh, attracted some other clients. I had met the CEO and founder of Realty.com back in 2016 at a NAR convention and a NAR convention down in Florida. And he had just sold a company called HostGator. HostGator is a competitor of GoDaddy. Um, they did the same exact thing. And Lance and his partner built up um, HostGator to about half the size of GoDaddy and sold it for about $330 million. So he was in his 30s, sitting on a pile of cash, um, had a small real estate team down in Boca Raton, Florida, and wanted to have exclusivity with Zillow. So he called Zillow, got Zillow on the phone and said, I want to be exclusive in Boca Raton. I don't want any other agents competing with me. What's it going to take for that to happen? And Zillow said about $140,000 a month. And Lance is like, I'm going to build my own Zillow. I know hosting. I know search engine optimization. I know how to do this. I just need the right URL. And so he starts searching and lo and behold, he finds realty.com for just over $10 million dollars. And I literally always have to laugh because I'm thinking the dude that bought realty.com URL in 1992, because everyone was buying URLs because they thought they were going to be something in the .com in era for like $95, just made $10 million on this URL. It's just, it's crazy. I don't really know how much he bought it for, but he didn't buy it for $10 million in 92. So anyway, Lance bought the URL. And that's actually what makes this fire, honestly, is having the right URL. If it was called like flower or something, you know, it wouldn't be that great. 
um, it's kind of like Zillow. I mean, Zillow started back in 2007 and it took them millions of dollars of branding and marketing to get into the living rooms of consumers because that word Zillow just didn't resonate with anyone. Um, I think that we are the fastest growing search portal out there because the word realty itself resonates so well with the consumer that people always think, oh, I've already heard of it or I'm already using that. I mean, I, I talk to agents all the time. They're like, yeah, I'm getting leads already in, you know, Charlotte, North Carolina. And I'm like, no, you're not. But that's probably realtor.com. Um, so people do get it really mixed up. So that's kind of how the inception started out of frustration with Zillow. Lance was adamant that he was going to blow Zillow out of the water. And about three years ago, we, he came to me. Um, we started with my little Rolodex um, in Maricopa County in Scottsdale, Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona. And we sold out Maricopa County within six weeks just because I had like a following with my title um, stuff. And so we sold out Maricopa County. We made some tweaks. Um, it's, you know, the lead game is always about tweaking. It's always about like, you know, um, really having our customer, which our customer is our, our, our agents, um, sharing with us what's working, what's not working glitches. Um, I see Rob Lang on the call. Like he's one of our newer partners as well. And he's been extremely um, vocal and a great partner in telling us what's working, what's not, what's he seeing, like what he might need more of, less of, whatever. And I think he's had some success, but it's really important for us to have that two-way communication with our partners. So um, back to realty.com. So the one thing that makes us unique, we're very similar to homes.com, Trulia, Realtor, Zillow, all the search portals out there, very similar in the searches and the leads. The thing that sets us aside from any other search portal out there or lead game out there is that we only sell one city to one agent. And that's what makes it really exclusive and really scarce. And I think what sets us aside and makes us like the golden like poster child for the lead game. Um, once a city is sold, it's sold for the life of the contract of the agent. We have agents, I'm really proud to say, we have cities that I sold two and a half, almost three years ago, and we have those clients still on the platform. They never canceled. We have less than a 15% attrition after six months. So our contracts are six months, and then it just goes month to month. So those people that have been with us for three years, they've been on a month to month contract for two and a half years. Um, so you have a six month contract. After that, it just defaults to month to month. And you just tell us 30 days that you went out and that's it, it's canceled. Um, so with the, with the actual cities that you purchase, you get a minimum number of leads. So we tell you, you know, if um, Nicole Ann Arbor, I can't remember what the price was, but say Ann Arbor was like $1,500 a month. And we told Nicole it's $1,500 a month, but we're gonna guarantee you 64 leads You'll never get less than that. If you do get less than that, um, we you don't pay. We credit you. And um, we supersede that by two to three times. I mean, I think I know like Nicole's team probably got their commit week two. And so they were already at their commit week two. And then we kept pouring leads because you guys all know if you've ever been in the lead game, it's a numbers game, period, end of story. And I don't believe that there's a bad lead. I truly don't. Maybe I'm biased. I just don't. Here's the thing about a lead. They're either buying now or they're buying later. And you've got to figure out where on the cycle you're going to hit them. Because a lead is a lead. They're buying. They're either buying from you or somebody else. But th when the lead comes in, they're either buying or selling their home. And it's either now or sometime in the future. And that's just the reality of it. Um, I think the biggest mistake that people make with leads is speed to lead is extremely important, especially with internet leads. When they're coming through a portal and they're coming to your, you know, your city, you've got to get on them really quick. I talked to an agent yesterday in Atlanta and she's, you know, she's gotten 64 leads in three weeks. And she's like, you know, we've only made contact with like five or six people. She's like, I've got this person calling, this person calling. And we call within like three days. And I'm like, three days, these people are gone. Especially the ones that are motivated. I mean, the, the consumers that are motivated to buy or sell a house, if they're coming through your portal 
they want to talk to an agent now. They want a listing appointment today. They want to see that the specific house, you know, in three hours. If you wait three days, you might as well just not even buy leads, honestly. Speed of lead is extremely important. Um, so we, um, there's about 25% seller leads, 20, 25% seller leads. The rest are buyer leads. And um, we encourage you to partner with the lender because lenders usually absorb 50% of the, pr the, the pricing of this. Um, a lot of people don't um, partner with the lender and that's totally okay because their lenders are doing things for them on, you know, on other platforms, but partner with the lender does absorb some of the, the price of it. And then we also just created about a year ago an ISA department out of Houston. So we're working the leads with you on the back end and, you know, we're, they're coming through our filter. We're working the leads and we're trying to engage with the consumer along with you. And we're live transferring these homeowners directly to whatever phone numbers you give us. So I was on a call with Lee and his team last week. And Lee, I don't know if I ever actually gave you the numbers, but in like nine days, you guys had three transfers. Um, and I, I meant to send that to you and, and tell you like who they went to. I actually think they went to Julie's phone, but um, you know, it, it, we don't guarantee a percentage of live transfers, but in nine days to have three transfers, I mean, that's not bad. Um, especially because these transfers are homeowners on the line. We're engaging, we're asking them, you know, are you already working with the realtor? How quickly are you in the home buying or home selling process? And I'm going to get our real estate expert on the phone in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Can you hold please? And they're saying yes to all those things. So, um, and we're getting, you know, one of you on the phone and then we're saying, hey, we've got, you know, Mary Beth on the line, she's in Grand Rapids, she's looking to sell her home, she wants a listing appointment, are you ready? And then you say yes, and we merge you. So it's not like just a call and we drop it, it's a live transfer. Nicole, have you guys had any live transfers yet? Is that kind of how it went? Yeah, sorry, I wanted to come off mute. Yeah, Maria and I both can talk about this. So yeah, we've had several um, live transfers. I mean, we were a week in and now we did buy nine cities. Like we're in our, our area. We bought nine cities and we had, what was it, Maria? Like 119 leads in the first week. Yep. That's yep. Awesome. Very, so, very happy with it. Yeah. Awesome. And we have currently, um, we have three or four agents working with buyers right now from those leads. So they are real people. They are really <laughs> like, do, yeah. you know, they're, they're actual people. So um, that's been really good. We've been really excited to be able to get this rolling out for, for our team. Yeah, that's great. And if they're not, like, if you get a couple of leads that are like Mickey mouse or whatever, all you have to do is throw those back to us and tell us, and we'll replace oh, those. We've had some good ones. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we have I had some named, interesting ones come in. I have one named, um, F U F U. Oh, <laughs> It's so crazy. I don't even know why people take the time to do that. Like it takes energy to like fill out a form because we yeah. don't consider these a lead unless they fill out a form and the form has to have their first and last name, their phone number and their email address. And we're skip tracing, we're skip tracing that to make sure that those are valid, which if those, if we are, if you guys are getting some of those, we, you know, we need to know about that too. Cause it's like, okay, we're skip tracing these. I don't yeah, know why we, that's not valid. We'll, we'll get those back to you. We, yeah, we have some good ones. I won't, I won't tell you the name because it's not appropriate, but it was hilarious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you're going to have some of that. Cause this is, you know, this is the internet. Um, but, um, so we, we aggregate leads in a myriad of different ways. It's not just, you know, one or two different things. Um, so first, you know, on our portal, realty.com, uh, we are getting a hit every second on that web portal. So that's consumers that are literally, we're training them to go to realty.com and start searching for properties. Instead of going to Zillow, go to realty.com. We have billboards in some of our key cities, um, Houston, Boca, um, Orlando, we've got some, you know, billboards. We're, we're getting into the living rooms of consumers. We're doing some radio TV advertising, you know, so that realty is the, the new search portal out there. So we are getting a hit on that organic or organically on that web portal every second. We also have over 2 million page views on Google now so that we're ranking higher and higher, and higher on keywords. And then we have a, a national relationship with some lead aggregators who we buy data from that have consumers that are in that home buying process 
and we're plugging those back into your cities. So along with PPC, you know, Google ads, other things, you know, we're doing, we're making sure, you know, our biggest thing, we're always searching for league aggregator, national lead aggregators out there to overlay good leads on, on top of what we already have. Our biggest goal is to make sure the integrity of the lead is there so that, you know, the only way that we've grown as fast as we've grown is really by our partners that are having success. And if we didn't come straight out the gate three years ago and, and have some success you know, on the West Coast, we had some big names on the West Coast that we added early on. And they're like, hey, call all my friends, you know, and we got to the East Coast. And so now we're in 1,346 cities across the country. The hardest thing for us now is to find available cities because the popular ones are gone. Um, we're in 1,346 cities with 116 partners. And I love that. I love that we only have 116 agents on this platform with us in 1,300 cities. That means people like Nicole and Lee have bought multiple cities. Um, you know, we've got a guy in San Diego who bought, started off with just the city of San Diego, had so much success within six weeks, bought every city within San Diego County. And if you guys know anything about San Diego, the, the dollar amounts out there are huge, but the cities, I mean, I, I, I do think there's like 38 cities or something like that. It's crazy. I mean, um, in San Diego County. So he bought all of it. So he, he, one person, one guy, he had 25 agents on his team when he went viral with us, when he literally bought all those cities, he had 25 agents. His goal that year was to recruit a hundred agents, to have a hundred agents on his team. That was in 20. 21 that was the spring of 2021 he had 25 agents he now has like 145 agents but he attributes all of that to realty.com because he was able to attract agents give them good quality leads and take 50 percent you know or 40 percent or 60 percent or whatever he had um but he took the risk and and he and he took you know he he bought the the cities so um I'm trying to think of anything else that i didn't uh, cover to tell you, but um, how we really work it, if you're interested, is just give me some cities that you might be interested in. I'll price them. So every city has a price. There's an algorithm that goes into pricing and the algorithm has to do with um, how many live listings are on MLS in that specific city, what the average purchase price is of homes in that city, and then how much it costs to generate a search. Because there's some cities like Scottsdale, Arizona, super, super competitive to generate searches. It's so, like, there's so much advertising on TV and radio and, and internet that it literally costs $200 to generate a good quality lead search in Scottsdale, Arizona. So Scottsdale specifically is like $12,000 a month. It's really, really expensive. Um, but there's other cities like Tallahassee, Florida is like $750 a month because it doesn't cost a lot of money to generate searches. There's not a lot of live listings. And so, you know, it's all over the place. So that's the algorithm that goes into pricing. And then with that, I mentioned earlier, um, with the monthly pricing, you do get a minimum number of guaranteed leads. Um, and um, that gives you some comfort knowing if you're going to spend a couple thousand dollars, you're going to get a certain amount of, of leads coming through. And, you know, I think I mentioned to you before, um, six month contracts and it goes month to month. It takes about three to four weeks to get you set up. So uh, we initially, you, you get signed up, you pay your first month. Um, you then, it takes us three to four weeks. You fill out a questionnaire. We get some information. We gather some information about your IDX, your MLS, your brokerage, all the things that we're going to do to, to set you up. And then we launch you hopefully within four weeks, you go live and you don't pay again until 30 days after your first lead. So there's about a 60 day lag time between your first payment, and your second payment, sometimes more. I mean, I know for Lee and, and Nicole, it took a little bit longer. I think with Rob, we were like right on our three to four weeks, um, but um, you don't pay again for 30 days after your first lead. Ours, well, I mean, in, in your defense, it was us that we, we were taking longer because we were trying to get our, our whole system set up. Right. So can I, can I share real quick my realty.com site? Cause I think yes. you, mentioned, you mentioned it, but I think it's like the biggest thing about it is the fact that you are the sole owner of that city. And that's like the biggest 
thing that I, I think is amazing because I mean, how many other sites are there? Right. So like this is, we were able to customize this too. And I actually think we can get this picture changed. We're in the process of changing this picture here to have a picture of our team. So yes. we're going to have this all um, changed our logo. Um, we're actually in the process of changing our logo because fun fact, uh, we've had to change our name three times for our new team. Uh, but nonetheless, um, this is the site that you're looking at here. And when people click on these, I mean, this is, if you, I typed in Ann Arbor Realty and one of the, like, this is the first site that popped up or I, I think I typed in that. But when people click on these houses, they can go through and click on the information, look at the houses, look at the stuff, and then it'll connect it to us. But it's great because you can go ahead and get it all connected here, which is, I mean, it's all customized to you. So it's really awesome. I wanted to just show that to you guys. Yeah, I know thank you for showing that. A few questions in the chat, I think too. Um, oh, Maria took it. First Realty lead just came in during this call. <laughs> Rob, that was you? You mean a live transfer? Because you've gotten leads before. Yeah, I was typing the response. I didn't mean that that was my first one. That's actually my 581st lead. Oh, wow. And it's the first one during this call, and I'll just keep posting them because I'm sure I'll have more during this call. It's only oh, an wow. hour long, and, and I get 15 to 20 leads per day. Rob, how are you handling? Because you're a single agent. Are you are you able to, like, immediately, you know, respond, call, text message back? Like, yeah, I've got a um, shortcut that I do on my phone and okay. I don't know if you can see it there. Yep. But um, I type in OPL for Overland Park and I type in SL for Shawnee. Um, and for the other cities, I've got the same type of thing. And the thing that I've, I've been tweaking this all along, the one that I end it with is, by the way, how would you feel if you could receive advance notice to houses before they come on the market? Thanks, Rob. And with this many leads coming in and having several of the people selling, they have houses to sell and I can match them up with buyers off market and they can swap houses and that type of thing. And so I'm getting real good responses to this text that I send out immediately when they come in. They don't want phone calls. They don't answer here in the Midwest. They you know, don't want that, but they are interacting with texts. And I also send video texts and um, emails, set them up for you know, property alerts with their specific criteria from my website, because I can look at what they're uh, searching and saving searches and looking at properties and put in that number of bedrooms, that number of baths as a minimum and what they're looking for. That's great. I mean, I, I, that's great that you've had so many sellers too. Well, if they're buying, a good percentage of them are sellers. I actually have, um, let me go here and check here quick, 19 sellers and 562 buyers on my lead chart. However, those 19 sellers are only the ones who have declared that they're sellers of the 562, multiples and multiples of those are selling also, they just, didn't come on the platform to sell. Right. So good. I'm glad. I'm, uh, thank you for sharing that. Thank you for sharing your results. Um, uh, I've been involved in leads since pretty much Zillow. Zillow came to us at, when I was at Fidelity National Title in 2007 and asked us to like help them launch in Maricopa County. So I'm super familiar with how it works. Um, very familiar with internet leads. And um, we, we, we have phenomenal coaches at realty.com as well. Um, we've got somebody that, that was a coach for um, Op City. We have a coach that used to be for Zillow. And then we have somebody that was on John Sheflack's team that are all coaches that that comes free to you <clears throat> with realty.com. So when you sign up for realty.com and you want 
to have a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with one of our coaches to talk, to go over talks, talk tracks or scripts or role-playing or, you know, the different types of leads that are going to come through and like how you should react to one lead versus another. If you should do text message, if you should do phone, whatever it is, we've got all that available to you as well. Um, we're, I, I like to say we're more committed to your success than sometimes you are. Lance, our CEO and founder is extremely committed to the success of the agents on this program because he knows that we're limited to our growth and to how we're going to expand based on the feedback that we get from our agents. And so when things aren't going right, one to two, three weeks after at the gate, like we really want to communicate. We want to be able to get on it right away. And we want to be able to maybe give you more, you know, uh, attention with our ISA team. You know, like <clears throat> if you haven't had good results, let's get our ISA team on your leads more specifically so that we can get more tra live transfers to you. So I just want to be clear about that. I, and I think I talk about that whenever I talk to agents about coming on board is that we are really, um, we are really committed to your success. Um, I'm not good at like reading the chats while I'm talking to you guys. So if there's something I'm missing and someone's yeah, asking I'll, a question, I'll, I'll read it real quick. It's uh, Emily said, how do we connect with realty.com to get those scripts and role playing all, all the practice stuff. It, Emily is, is Emily a, a client? currently Emily is a part of Nicole's team I think okay hi yeah hi Emily email me directly and I'll, I'll loop you in on that um so that should have been part of the onboarding call um and and there's like a deck that's I don't know if you're part of the onboarding call or not but it's part of the onboarding call where how you get all that information but email me directly and I'll loop you in um and get get you with one of the one or all the coaches what's your email or is it Melissa somewhere? at realty.com, M E L I S S A at realty.com. Super easy. You guys, okay. any of you guys can email me, email me if you want me to, to, uh, uh, um, price some cities for you or get availability. Like I said, Michigan is really saturated. Um, Mac are you guys all in Macomb County? No, is Macomb County is popular there. I just searched Macomb County for somebody yesterday. There was like in all of Macomb County, there's like three cities left. Oh, wow. I don't know where that is, but I know it's in Michigan. <laughs> um, I'm glad. So Thank Randy, you. Randy Gamo just joined us and he, we're going to have him on, I think right next week, right, Lee? Yep. Because so we have launched in Modern Agent Blueprint, a collaboration between us realty.com and Randy Gamo. So Randy is a um, lender and we have partnered with him and we're going to talk about this next week, but we are opening up a national referral platform through Modern Agent Blueprint all across the country where we're going to be partnering with other agents. Lee, do you want to talk a little bit more about that or Brandy or whoever wants to talk? About yeah, yeah. So, we're going to talk so, more uh, about it next week, but yeah, so so Randy has a has a call center and is actually actively calling leads, and some of them are actually Realty.com leads, and we are live transferring those to our agent network within the Modern Agent Blueprint. And as of as of last week, we had about 80 agents that had registered to be a part of this network, and I think that there's 17. Uh, Randy, you just got licensed in Pennsylvania too, correct? Yeah, we're in right now. We're in twenty. Uh, Pennsylvania is our twentieth state, but okay. we're literally adding another twenty states inside of sixty to ninety days. Okay. So at the end of the ninety days, we should be in forty states. Like Pennsylvania was one of the harder ones. It took a little longer. New York will take like a year and a half. So there's certain <laughs> states that take longer, but um, there's certain states we'll, we will have a lot more. So the cool thing is we'll be able to provide more leads in more areas. Yeah. How about Kansas and Missouri? Uh, we are in Missouri now. We're not in Kansas yet. Kansas will be probably 30 days tops. Okay. That's great. Yeah, so Randy, so we're going to be on, so Randy will be our guest next week, and we're going to talk about all of that in detail. And um, we really, we, I think we wanted to get up to, there were some areas that we didn't have enough coverage. So we definitely, um, we definitely want to have uh more more agents in different areas. So I, I have a form that I will post in the Modern Agent Blueprint group for you guys to sign up if you haven't already. 
and we're going to push hard to launch that you know right after next week's call yeah and <laughs> guys we'll like some of the stuff will we'll go after i'm just going to a quick preview but we'll be going after so it's really different it's much more difficult it's much i don't want to take away but i'm just going to say this one thing it's much more difficult to facilitate these leads and making sure they're getting responded to in the way that we need in the, in the way that allows the higher uh, the highest conversion. And it's no different than the realty.com leads. Like we can work a realty.com lead. You can work a realty.com lead and, and different people will have higher conversions. And Melissa, you know, you can talk about that. I mean, did you, have you talk, spoken to them about the difference between the conversion from your best teams to your worst teams and how important it is, you know, to be really dialed really in to make sure that you have the highest conversion? Yeah, I did. I, I briefly talked about how important it is to speed to lead is the name of this game. Um, and that, you know, if, if you are immediately responding to a lead, your conversion goes through the roof, like 87%. <clears throat> if you wait two or three days, the lead's basically gone. You might as well not even spend money on leads. Um, and then, you know, there's, there are certain talk tracks that are better than others. Like I really believe that when you're immediately calling somebody that's just been on the realty.com site that raise their hand, fill out a short form, and you're calling to say, I just saw that you were on our realty.com site. I think that's really important. If you call and say, oh, you know, this is Melissa Shapiro with, you know, EXP Realty. They're like, they're getting a bombarded with calls from multiple different agents on different platforms. So, you know, directing them back to like where they just were is really important as well. Um, Randy and I've been working together for a few months and we're in multiple different states together. I will tell you not that he needs a plug, but if you, if any of you need a lender, I mean, he is, his mind is, is so aggressive and has the most amazing business acumen of anybody that I've ever worked with. He will find a way to create success for you, <clears throat> even if it's individual for your team specifically, he'll find a way to create success. I mean, he is probably second to none I've ever met in the lending world, um, in this, in this, in our entire industry, Randy, I really mean that you just have been Honestly, like, such a great yeah. partner and so incredibly tenacious and just driven and you're, you're on it. I mean, I know Nicole's like kind of nodding, like she knows too. <laughs> you just, you never say no to anything. You're just like, how do we do this? How fast can we do this? And how much success are we going to have? Those are the things you ask. That's so. why he's successful. I appreciate you a lot. Yeah. Guys, uh, thank you so much, but I wouldn't be like, if I didn't have partners like you guys, so that's like the big thing, but we won't talk about me anymore. Let's just talk about how we can help you. So like how Melissa can help you grow, how Lee's trying to help you grow, Nicole. Like everyone here, like the cool thing is I'm involved in a few groups. I'm involved in a few that are like, you know, have two, 300, 2000 people. And I'll tell you like the biggest thing is when everyone's thinking the same way, right? When you have the highest level people in the organization thinking, you know, a way, and then everyone kind of like follows or the, the highest level people thinking or this is the highest producers i don't know highest level because i think we're all we all can be highest level we got to think who are the top producers and then what i did when i first started the business i just follow those top producers i copied everything they did like you guys have someone like julie on this call julie i mean she, she probably don't want to brag about it but i'm sure you guys know ladies produce so much in real estate volume or they like i'd pick her brain as much as possible on these calls and you have lee guy had a mortgage company real estate i mean he did so many things and understands leads like there's so many different positive things and i'm sure you guys talk about in the modern modern asian blueprint but there's so many things that you know you should follow these things as best you can melissa's guys i don't know if you know melissa was the president of a title company for years and now she's doing the realty it's just so many different positive things that you guys can pick at people just ask the right questions and try to follow through and try to make sure that you're doing those high level things remember it's always what is the one percent doing the half percent doing the quarter percent doing not the 99 percent. don't do what they're doing what is that one percent doing that's successful. Yep. And that's the big thing. So I'm just happy to now be a part of this. So. Well, we're happy to have you with us, Randy. Yes. It took, it took long enough. Yeah. Now we're here. Now we're here. I love it. So I'm happy sure to answer any questions. Who, I was going to say, I'm, I'm sure there's some people who have questions or uh, want a little bit more explanation. Does anybody have anything they want to say? Questions? If you're already using realty.com, um, I know Rob just said that he's got like 500 and some odd leads. And I think you've only been with realty.com for a couple months, right? Yeah, he's, he, he, he launched. Yes. Uh, February, February 16th, I started. Yes. Look at that. And it's April 11th, so almost two months. 
And he doesn't have a lender on his platform, Randy, just FYI. <laughs> he's, he's absorbing all that on his own. He's got a ton of leads. Rob, you and I have to talk. <laughs> Sounds good. Um, I saw Christy Young on here. Christy Young is a realty.com fan. Yes, we just um, onboarded like this week and I've already got like 10 leads, five leads. That's I don't awesome. know. We got a lot. I was surprised because they said plan on about a week and then they came rolling in the next day. I'm like, oh, okay, we're ready. We'll and that's the thing. We don't, con so, we don't yeah, control it. excited. Because it's your website. Yeah. It's whoever's going, like all the, you know, consumers are going to these websites. So we're, we think that we know like what the activity is going to be, but we don't necessarily know when we turn it on, it's like flood floodgates open. So um, we, we try to be conservative with what we say we're going to, we, we like to over deliver under promise. Yeah. We've been on for less than a month and we have over a hundred leads. It's crazy. Gross. And, and here's what I want to mention to those of you that have a ton of leads. Sometimes that's not a good thing. Like sometimes, so like sometimes it becomes like, like water coming through a fire hose way too quick. And so if it's too much, tell us, cause we can like put filters on so that we, you know, just filter in the, like the better quality ones so that you don't get as many, if it's saturating your team, or if it's like, the boy that cried wolf and then your team's getting exhausted and they're not like going after them because there's like so many that are coming in. We don't want there to be too many either, but we do know the more leads you have, the better conversion you're going to have period. Yeah. Like you guys, like, if you like, please, like one thing I hear from people and that drives me crazy is like, there's too many leads. So what happened is <clears throat> people get jaded from the leads, right? Yes. You're taking on 200 leads a week or whatever the number is. You're like, well, what the hell? These aren't converting at, you know, 12 percent, like, Zillow back in the day. Well, they're not expecting to, right? If you get one lead, if you really work on your scripting and how you take on that lead and how you speak to them, and, and what's going to happen is that lead that potentially fell through the cracks, I'd rather get a, 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 a two out of 10 lead versus like a nine out of 10 lead than not get that lead at all. Because if I can convert that guy, like I've had, I swear to you guys, I've had people say to me, I'm not interested. I'm not chopping for house, blah, 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 blah. And they're about to hang up and I say, wait, 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 just give me three seconds. And I'll be like, Okay, is anyone you know looking <laughs> to buy a house? And they'll hang up nine out of 10 times. But the one time they don't, it took me three seconds to ask that extra question to get a, a lead. And then once you make them laugh or say yes, like a few times in a row, that's what I try to do. So I always try to make them say yes a bunch of times. So I had a guy come up to me the other day and it was my first, and I'm sorry, I'm, I wasn't supposed to talk, but I just want to tell you this information. It was my first lead that I had called in probably 10 years where I had actually got on a cold call just to set an example to my team. And I swear to God, guys, I got on, my brother put the headset, my brother's my party, put the headset on me. Client literally, I was like, hey, this is Randy Kaufman from National Market. Click. So my brother said, okay, go to the next one. I said, nope, I have three people watching me. Uh, <laughs> I got back on the phone. I was like, hey, this is Randy. I think we got disconnected. And I can actually play the call for you guys. And you guys can hear this thing. And it's so funny, but we got a full app from him, you know? And it's just that you can't give up. Like, don't like, don't be afraid, guys. If they hang up on you three times in a row, what's the worst thing that happened? Oh my God, you're gonna go to hell. No, it's not gonna happen. They're gonna hang up on you three times in a row. Then you go to the next person. So like, it has to be like this tenaciousness. Because remember, you're not the 99%. You're on this call because you're trying to be in the 1% or the quarter percent of nationwide realtors. So we have to like always push that initiative. Sorry. Yeah, Sorry. exactly. Randy, oh, we're going to see, do, you can uh, see how do, passionate Randy is. I love we're it. Gonna, we're going to have Randy do a, uh, a scripting call for us here. <laughs> oh, I'll do that all day, guys. I'll jump live on the phones. I don't, I'm not afraid at any single given moment. I'm a fighter, always have been. And I, I love if everyone on this call was too, to be honest with you. Awesome. Well, it. so we got about 15 more minutes. If anybody has any questions or anything um, about realty.com, Melissa, do you want to talk uh, one more time about how people can uh, find out if their city's available or what they need to do in order if they're interested to at least get a quote? Because yeah, oh, I mean, it's really. Can I also say one quick thing too? Um, when you do the quote, it pauses the city. So if you're looking at a city and Maria's looking at a city, if you call first, they'll pause it and they won't let anybody else buy it until you decide if you're going to confirm or not um, or go through with it or not, right? um yes it's a little <laughs> it's a little trickier now because oh. 
it's a little trickier just because we've got so many calls coming in from all over, like all over the country. Um, but if you are really serious about like, if you, I, some people have already uh, emailed me and I'll get, I'll literally respond to you as soon as we get off the phone, uh, this call. Um, if you're really serious about a city, I can hold it for you. I did that for you, Nicole um, and Lee. Um, I do it for Randy all the time. Um, it technically doesn't get held until you actually make payment and then it gets taken off the market. But um, if I send you, a, if you don't pay and I send you a contract and I, and I kind of plug you in the system, it does pause it. So that it does do that. But if I just send you a quote, if I just like, oh, this is what it looks like until you tell me, okay, yes, I'm really serious about this then it's still open. And, and that's frustrating too, because, um, you know, we, we are having a lot of success. So the cities are going fast. So the good cities, you know, are, are going, they just are. Um, but there's a lot, what, 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 what's great about that. Like, for example, if Orlando has gone, Orlando, Florida has gone, there might be tiny little cities around there that are really, really cheap that you never really would have wanted. But now that it's so saturated in that area, it's so great to have those little cities because the more searches that are going in around that area, the more likely they're gonna to go to a little city as well. So it actually, because we're getting more saturated in all these cities across the country, it's actually better even for the smaller cities. You don't have to spend a lot, sometimes you don't spend a lot of money on cities and you're still gonna get really good results. Um, email me directly. I'll respond right away. Um, but just like speed to lead is really important with internet leads, speed to lead, lead on this is really important too. Um, you probably have some overlap areas that you guys are on the call. You know, the people that are on the call are overlap areas. So, you know, please let me know. Um, sooner than later, Melissa, and it's just M E L I S S A at realty.com. Super simple. Melissa and Randy. Is it possible um, to have right now realty.com is sending my leads to uh, my Lion Desk CRM? Is it also possible to send them directly to Randy as the lender? If he comes on board to partner with you, absolutely. Yeah, yeah to, ab to absolutely. Be, to, be, to be fair, Rob, one of the things that we do, and this is something that, you know, once because we do, we do an onboarding of people too, to be honest with you, just to make sure that we're a good fit for each other. And once we do, I don't take anything from you um, if I'm not contributing, because I feel like as a true partner, somebody needs to be contributing with you. So that's something we can talk about. I'll, I'll give you a call. We'll, talk, we'll chat about it later today. Thanks. But thank you for the thought right away. I love that. <laughs> sure thing. Randy, Rob is his mentality is a lot like you, like he's super aggressive. He jumped on this. He's, he's spending like $8,000 a month on his cities. He's gotten 560 leads in like one month. He's like on it like this. I mean, he's got similar, like his style is similar to like your aggressiveness. He's a hawk. I could already see yeah, it. He is. He is for sure. So, yeah. One thing, one, one thing I would, I would say like to you guys, like this opportunity with the realty.com, um it's big because like i don't know if you guys know like everyone thinks in their heads a lot of people and if you're local or not local like you look at your biggest teams you're like oh they were on zillow flex and they're producing all this and they were doing that guys those numbers are not the same as they were i just looked at like one of the largest teams that um we had done business with and they were doing a lot of zillow flex and they kind of started dealing with here, this person that person so i just checking the numbers they had done 400 million dollars last year uh sorry 400 million dollars from like uh, July 22 to June 21, right? 400 million. And I looked at the past six months, they were already down like 15%. Then I looked in the past uh, four months, the guys, they were down 63, 67, one of those percent. So Zillow Flex is drying up. The Zillow leads are drying up. The fact that Realty, yeah, Brian, Brian Lilly, I've heard a lot of good things about you, Brian Lilly. Um, the fact that realty.com is coming with the opportunity to say, Hey, we'll give you 10 times the leads. Yeah. And she's saying, I can dial it down. I can dial it up. Really look at that. It even start small. You don't have to go in and people, some people are like, well, I don't want to spend this much money. Well, you leave providing an opportunity. Nicole's providing an opportunity and we're going to try to help find that opportunity. Fine. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Spend a little bit, maybe with Melissa, try it out, see how it works. Talk to someone like Rob, who I like tell you, I can already tell he's a hawk. He'll help you with that. Lee's already been working with them. So you'll have an idea, but you have these people that will help you. 
to say, okay, this is what the conversion is, this is what you can inspect, but this is what you need to do to be really good at it. If you're buying multiple cities, you need a team, you need intake, stuff like that. But now if I have this much opportunity versus spending 240 to 280 bucks a lead on Zillow, really pursue that. Really, really pursue that because now you have an opportunity. Again, that's why you're part of this group. So yeah. And and just real quick, I'm glad that you mentioned something about the CPL cost per lead. Um, so when you first, when we first price you at realty.com, it ends up being like about $75 per lead, but it's never that it ends up. It actually, in reality, it's between 20 and $30 a lead because we're giving you so like Rob got 561 leads in a month divided by his monthly payment. He's probably, it's probably $22 a lead. Um, so when you compare that to Zillow and the, the, the leads that you're getting, this blows it out of the water. I mean, oh, that's, that's BS, Melissa, the leads on Zillow. Like if I pay $250 a lead, every lead's going to be able to be sold. Wow. Well, that's a pretty bold statement. Well, that's BS. That's what people say. They say, well, if I spend 250 a lead, oh. I'm going to convert every one. Right. I see oh. what you're saying. I'm like, that's a pretty bold statement. I thought you were serious. I was what's like, the, what's the conversion? It's still an 8% at best. Right. Conversion. Right. Right. Today right. it's gone down to 6%. Some teams are converting at 3% on Zillow, Zillow spend. So when, when someone says again, well, Melissa's leads, oh, I have to call through so many of them. Well, guys, that's, that's public leads. That's how they work. Yeah. Melissa, I was yes. just going to say, and you know this because we talked about it, but like I built my business on Zillow back in the day when it was like abundant, right? And they, I was getting live lead transfers constantly all of this stuff. And I don't know how much I was paying. It felt like seven bucks a lead by the, with how much they were giving me. And then they switched everything. And all of a sudden we're spending $7,000 and getting three leads, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And so I left my contract and, um, it was interesting. They called me the other day and said they'd guarantee three leads in my area and wouldn't even guarantee they were live transfers. And it was $2,000. And I was just like, are you kidding me? So I think 250 is a low number for Zillow now and totally not worth it. So, um, and frankly, I've done just fine without them. So I'm super excited about your leads and having, I agree with you, speed the lead. I think there was you that said, there's no bad lead. I a hundred percent agree. If you guys just look at the law of statistics, 10% and that's a conservative number according to the Census Bureau, says that 10% of people, even in a downturn economy, are gonna move every year. So if you take that number and you take what any lead you get, 10% of it technically is gonna be moved. So it's just about being in front of them at the right time in the right place and staying consistent. Yes. And I always say like, sometimes like some of my leads don't convert for six to nine months, but if you have them in the right drip systems, that's just money in the bank later on. And I need that. So I yes. agree with you hundred percent. And I think this is so exciting. Everything you guys do, you really have thought about the agent and put them first, which is huge, really big. So I'm excited. Thank you for saying that. And, and we, it, it's really true. We really do think, I think that, you know, the agent has been first in this, in, in the whole, um, creation of realty.com and the consumer's been second why we only sell to a postal city and not a zip code or a neighborhood is because the consumer search is so important where we want them to have that white glove uh, experience where if i'm in scottsdale and i want to move to michigan i don't know what zip code i want to move to but i want to talk to a real estate professional in ann arbor and i want her to ask me the questions like you know, do you care about HOAs? Do you have a drive a Mercedes or a pickup truck? Do you want a horse farm? Do you, you know, do you care, whatever I care about, then I want you to tell me which zip code I should move to or what house I should, you know, house I should look at. So, you know, we get that all the time. Like, why do you do it by postal city? I want it by zip code. Well, everyone else does it by zip code. That's why we do it by postal city. We want it to be a white glove experience for the consumer. We want this to be different. We want this to be not like anything else out there. And we want you to own it. We want you to own your city. We want you to be the, the city expert, um, kind of like town sites. We want you to own the town. Um, 
but anyway, so, and I, I love that you, what all the things you said, Christy, because like, I go back to what I said initially, there are no bad leads. I mean, it's like the first, the consumer, the homeowner, seller, or buyer that's getting to you is either going to buy now or they're going to buy later, but they're eventually going to buy from somebody. So why not you? Um, it's funny because Christy has a competitor in her backyard that's been on our platform for about two and a half years. And, you know, I, I say that a lot because I think that speaks a lot to the product. These people that were with us three years ago when we were going through our growing pains and tweaking things, they're still with us. These are big players in the industry. You would probably know all their names. Um, they didn't cancel and they're only on month to month contracts. And so I think that when we have less than 15% attrition after six months, that says something about, you know, the product and the, and the, and the company and, you know, what we're selling as well. I think and the like, exclusivity I, is so important. It's it's to have control of your city. And it really is a great way to to bring and add people to your to your team because you you're controlling that city and you're controlling those leads. And you know, and that's and that's why there's such a low burn rate of of people canceling, is that because that what you know what'll happen is the second you quit, your competitor is gonna come and take the city that you've been spending time on and and that's you know uh, that's why there's such a low attrition rate and then for me personally like I, i'm i'm always skeptical and we I, w I was fortunate enough to to have dinner in new york city at inman with you know glenn sanford the founder and ceo of exp and with lance the founder and ceo of realty.com i was sitting at a table with both of them both of like intelligent super smart people and when lance was telling me about his vision for the product that's when that's when i was a believer and then i started letting all of my friends know hey you should consider realty.com because it is a product that that you know the founder and ceo has integrity and he's going to make sure that all of his partners and clients are taken care of and that's the number one thing is i always look for integrity in someone before i want to do business because we've all done these different projects or deals and things where and you know you, you really don't trust or you just feel like it's just kind of slimy you know like like these guys are class acts and it's and i'm i'm excited to be a part of you know to be a partner with you know realty.com we're excited to have you and randy and nicole and chrissy and yeah, we've, we've built a nice um, little group here locally yeah. that, you know, that we're connected in ways and like, and we're, we're actually, we've, we've strengthened our relationship in so many other ways that it's just, there's really a bright future. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Melissa, for joining us today. And I hope that this is, you know, given uh, all of our, our guests on here, some, some things to think about and maybe test out and, check with you and, and see if um, if their city's available. Randy, what do you yes. got? Just really fast, because I, I kind of jumped in late. I had a I had a double booked a meeting at 11. Melissa, did you go over the fact that you guys have scripting coaches back there to help people to go over the leads and all that? Yeah, I sure did. Would you guys be able to get everyone on a Zoom to be able to do this together at one time? Because collaboratively, it works really, really well. Like to have it uh, does. Two people attack, two, not attack, but two people uh, role play each other and then two more and then the, the person can kind of like judge and then like hey this is what you could have said this is what you could have said better so a uh, role playing on zoom actually really works well if you have like one moderator a couple moderators and then people just kind of you know raising their hands saying okay i'll take that one i'll take that one yeah it's really nice yeah i mean yeah that's absolutely um totally possible and i would love to to do that with you guys if we want to just get all you know a group of realty.com people together and i'll yeah. bring one of the coaches on board however you want to do it i'm happy to do yeah, that Yeah, we can do that i mean we could um potentially do that as a, a modern age of blueprint or just do it completely separately i think that would actually be um we'll talk about it we'll talk about it after the call but um, i know that i've never done online leads before so having practice and scripts and role would playing be would be really yeah. helpful for me yeah yeah, I let's, think let's let's plan on it. So let's 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 get our calendar out and figure out which day works and maybe we can do maybe well, I think actually, it needs to be a monthly this it needs month to be like a monthly weekend. thing. This you month can, you, you can take my spot, Nicole, next week. I could just I just need five minutes. I already talked well, today. I, I messed up Melissa's whole meeting. 
No, <laughs> you added to it. It's perfect. Well, I mean, this whole month for Modern Agent Blueprint, it's all about lead generation, lead conversion. So what this would be a perfect opportunity to do uh, role playing and scripting and all that. So um, I think that would be a good idea that we can hop on. And then anyone who wants to join us, you know, obviously feel free. You don't have to necessarily be a realty.com um, client yet. You're doing leads, period. I mean, like if you're, if you're a realtor today, you've got to be in the lead game somehow. I mean, yeah. somehow there has to be leads coming through your database, your, your website, somehow you've got it. You know, um, I, I was at a convention a couple months ago and one of the keynote speakers was like, if you're not in the lead game, you're going to be left in the dust. I mean, you've got to be getting leads mm -hmm. somehow. Um, otherwise you just won't survive this. And, and, and 23 is nothing like it's going to be in 24. I mean, guys, I'll tell you like firsthand, just firsthand, I promise you guys, this is the honest to God truth. I don't know if you guys know, cause you guys just met me for years. I was a realtor and I, I just retired. I'm not retired, but stopped real estate about a year ago. Okay. I was producing $25 million in real estate and another set between 70 and $90 million in mortgages every year by myself, every year. I did 25 years, three straights of 25 million, three years in a row. Everything was fear. It was all referral based. So I'm telling you this, just so you guys know, I promise you, I, I put the brakes on real estate and I said, okay, I'm going to exit essentially because I want to focus on the mortgages. Within one, within six months, my business already by itself plummeted 70%. That's because I wasn't doing my bit. I wasn't doing that. I wasn't doing any originating. I wasn't calling past clients. Yeah. The sphere business is not how it was. It was easy the past 10 years. It's not easy anymore. So getting uncomfortable dialing, scripting, uh, role-playing, calling public leads, it doesn't mean this is your only source of income. It's one of your seeds. You're planting money seeds. It's one seed, but you need that seed. Cause that becomes a tree that, that, that bears fruit one day. Yep. I love it. Yeah, I, I, you're, you're totally right. So, well, you guys, I wanted to wrap this up. We're a little bit over time and I know, uh, agents got to get going here. It's early on Melissa's side of town and it's lunchtime over here. So <laughs> you need to see to go make, go make your yes. calls agents. Hop on those phones. Right. All Thank right, you guys. guys so much. It's been great. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for putting this together. I appreciate being a guest. Melissa, Thank you're you. amazing. Thanks. Thanks, Randy. Thank you. And then next week we're going to have, we're going to launch our agent referral program and we're going to have Randy, you're going to be on the next yep. week. Too, now, honestly, take half my time if you want and put it towards scripting. If we can get Melissa back on, I'm okay with yeah, it. For sure. This is all. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. We'll do, yeah, we'll do, uh, we'll split it half hour. Yeah, and half hour. Awesome. Let's do that. All right, all right guys. Bye, everybody. Have a great Good, time, everybody. Guys. Thanks. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. Randy, I, I appreciate, appreciate you. you. Thank you, Lee.